All right guys, gotta do some kayak fishing in the winter. This is basically two days before the end of the year and it's always a mystery in what's in this mystery tackle box but it's also a mystery on whenever I meet this guy here because we don't know what the heck is gonna happen. Right Mike? That's right man, I didn't even see you filming an intro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got the uh, MTB boxes going and uh, hopefully we catch some fish today. Fingers crossed. Yes, fingers crossed. Let's go guys. Good. All right, so guys, we're just preparing right now, but this is uh, Mike's new kayak right here. This is feel free. Um, this is the Lure 11.5. Looks pretty neat. Looks like uh, he got some propellers right here. Oh man, I haven't had a new kayak for so long. I think my kayak, uh, 2015, the fall. That's when I got that. So um, yeah, man, this this looks exciting. Welcome to kayak fishing, buddy. I'm excited, dude. I'm very excited, actually. This is gonna be a fun year. All right, all right, and. Um, You'll catch a lot of fish. Hopefully, yeah. you know, that's, that's the goal. We'll see. Cool, cool. <laughs> Look at Mike. He's like preparing. I think he's like on his kayak for five minutes already since uh, launching. He launched first <laughs> and he's still like prepping. But uh, that's life of a YouTuber. You got to prep everything, right? All right, fam. So Mike and I are doing the same mystery tackle box challenge today at my favorite lake. Uh, he's in his new kayak and I'm in my old. Anyone want to sponsor Jimbo with a new kayak? <laughs> Leave me a comment below. But anyways, uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Mike already opened it. He kind of peeked at it. But um, it's my turn to take a look at it. So we got some hooks. Okay, Daichi. Some sharp hooks there. Um, okay, we got some crawls. This is from Weston. All right. So we could do some jig and pigging if they have a jig in here. That's a rattle trap. So we have a rattle trap. This is from Team Arc. Sinking. Rattle trap is definitely good. So I probably want to throw that jerk bait. Oh. Junior Scout, definitely need those drug baits in the winter time. Uh, let me take a quick peek right here. Right now it's 45 degrees water temp. Um, all right, we got some flukes. Good, good. Um, oh, nice, got some Biwa. Yo, yo, Biwa. This is a, a crawl. Interesting, got fish in the bottom. Oh, here we go, this jig. Perfect, so I could use uh, this jig here and two different lures, all right? And, um, I have three hours to complete this. So, Mike and I, one versus one, mystery tackle box challenge. Ugh, he's probably gonna kick my butt. Let's try it. So guys, it's early in the morning. I think I'm up for the rattle chop first. We'll cover water. Uh, there's no wind today, so uh, I definitely gonna fish some of these flats. I'm hoping that uh, there's not that many black algae of doom. Because you know what? Trouble hooks calls for trouble. Whenever you fish uh, trouble hooks, you may snag not just one, but like six different pieces of weeds. And you know, that means more time picking them out. But uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, with the rain and everything, I think everything is gone. Like I'm looking outside in the water right now. There's nothing floating in the center, which is great. Like I fished a few times during the fall and you know, it's like everywhere. But uh, yeah, let me uh, tie this thing on. I am probably showcasing this for the first time for you guys. This is the Daiwa, their Zillion SVTWG. All right, this is uh, the reel that I wanted. And I'm telling you, this thing feels like it worth more than a million, which is why they call it the Zillion. And it's so quiet. Let me put this on and let me do a quick cast for you guys. You guys could be like, ah, I don't believe. All right, guys, you ready for this cast right here? It's gonna be so quiet and the rain's coming back a little bit, but let me just uh, put this thing down to like about six breaks. All right, listen to this. Did you guys hear anything at all? Like literally, there's like no sound. It's sick. It's sick. So sick. All right, so this thing vibrates pretty good. So I'm just gonna do some yo-yoing. This is shallow water. As you see, it's three feet, 44 degrees. Um, might not be a good idea to fish that fast, but you know what? I am just trying to look for that active fish right now in this cove. I might switch off to another lure first because I have several rods. I like coves and I might want to slow it down a little bit. I might put on a jerkbait on another rod. Like if I rig them all up and I swap off rigs pretty quick, right? And I should be able to, you know, fish efficiently because this is you know a challenge right you gotta win i lost last time against mike so uh you know in that uh, putting that cicada in the mouth was terrible but um yeah i think my brains are still vibrating if you guys didn't watch that video you guys can check it out in the top right hand corner all right um i decided to go with the weightless fluke right from kaylin's and the daiichi hook 
on my Corrado BFS Rio and my uh, Dobbins Sierra Finesse. Uh, this should be okay, test, right? Yep, and it started raining, so it's not too bad. Um, all right, cool. I got this dialed in, and I'm gonna fish some shallow water for a little bit and see if we pull up a pickerel. Let's see. It's all right. There's some light stuff here, weightless. Fish the weightless fluke is always a good way to catch some fish. The question is, are they back here? Are they in the deep? Or are they back where the creeks are at? Because, you know, it rained and it's still raining, but it rained a lot yesterday. Like I was hearing it on my, uh, my roof and my windows. So yeah, I'm just gonna fish right around here and then I'm gonna go out to the hot spot and you know, uh, let Mike follow me to the hot spot. But yeah, this, uh, this cove so far is pretty quiet, but now I'm getting closer to this side right here. seems like there's some, some stuff. Uh, I ran into a few fish earlier, but let's see, let's see. Now you can fish this fast or you can fish it slow. I'm doing a twitch and let it fall because it is some cold water. Okay, but uh, I'm glad it is weedless. So if we run into some fallen tree branches and stuff like that, it should be okay. All right, quick update guys. We're gonna fish for three hours. Uh, so one o'clock is my deadline. And Mike just said basically, see how many fish we catch with how many different lures. So, you know, just five lures. You know, if we catch as much as five, then, you know, we're basically tied. But, uh, you know, yeah, I basically switch around, switch around. So yeah, I definitely gotta use them all somehow, shape or form. You guys are probably laughing right now because some of these stuff Jimbo don't even use. And I'm getting a lot of pecks right now. I think these, uh, these are crappy. So maybe if I get a mono crappy at this uh, tree area, that'd be pretty cool. But I'm hoping for a pickerel or a bass to nab this guy and not swap off, you know? There we go. All right. First fish of the day is a yellow perch. <laughs> Dude, that is amazing. Oh yeah, I'm on the board. I am on the board. Yeah. <laughs> yellow perch, baby. That's a yellow perch. The fluke. Look at that. Jimbo is on the board. First fish, right? First fish. So time to get. Sure, sure, sure. Right there. All right. First blood goes to Jimbo. Delicious. Let's go. All right, fam. The next lure I'm going to throw is a jerkbait. And Mike actually have a jerkbait on too. You know, sometimes you go with the, the pro, right? Well, you know, he definitely have more experience fishing uh, cold water and bass fishing than me. I'm an all-rounder, so I don't specialize in any sort of fishing. Uh, I guess if you guys want to say I specialize in anything, is I would say uh, crappies, right? But uh, that's what I typically, ouch. Oh, he hit his other rod. Uh-oh. Did, did you drop your rod? I'm good. Okay. All right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, he's casting the jerk bait, so uh, I'll probably do the same anyway. I have the rattle trap on the other rod, uh, and then I got that. And I'll probably put another plastic on, on one of my, um, on that BFS rod and probably put a light weight on and uh, see if I could do some free rigging. But uh, it's not a good idea to be quite honest because it doesn't have great backbone. So I might have to switch to this later for uh, free rigging because uh, those are some bigger plastic and bigger hooks. But uh, yeah, let me uh, go out there in the main lake area because I think that, um, that might be the best bet. All right, guys, this is what I'll do. I'm gonna troll this thing at some high speeds as I get to my next spot. I don't know if uh, it's because, <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna troll this as I get to my fishing spot. It would be pretty cool if I could uh, catch a fish while trolling. But yeah, man, trolling, trolling, trolling. Uh. Hmm. Lower some brakes for a little bit. There is absolutely no wind here today. So Jimbo can stand up and fish. Jimbo can stand up and fish. Haven't seen Jimbo do this for a while, right? Right? All right. Anyways, don't even know where those fish are at. By the way, guys, I spooled up only halfway on my 
uh, Tatula SV, kind of versatile finesse frog uh, summertime. So the line is pretty thick. It's like, I don't know, maybe 20 pounds. But I probably want to put it uh, 15 pounds going forward. Don't need anything super heavy anymore. Jimbo is changing up his fishing style. I think I'm gonna do all finesse and um, 2022. I mean, I've been doing BFS, right? For all my uh, super finesse fishing, right? But I wanna go to the next level up and kind of fish like the medium lights, mediums, and put away the medium heavies and heavies. You know, the only time I think I'll be using heavy is uh, <laughs> the next time uh, <laughs> Mike's screaming all across the lake. <laughs> he missed one. Uh, yeah, the only time I think I'll be fishing heavy is frogging for snakeheads. You know what I'm saying? But I will definitely do more finesse fishing on snakeheads. So if you guys want to see some snakehead fishing finesse, you know, make sure you guys stay tuned for next spring. 44 degrees. You guys fish bass 44 degrees. I usually just fish for crappies or pickerels, but uh, you know, I forgot all about the perch, by the way, which is uh, <laughs> interesting. Perch is pretty good uh, fishing in the cold too, just like crappies. But yeah, man, pick girls, I need you guys to uh, come and bite this lure. My arm is getting a little tired throwing the jerk bait. <laughs> a lot of work, a lot of work. Don't want to be like Quagmire, but it's one crazy big arm. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yeah! Oh yeah, it's a bass! Woot woot! All right, here we go, look at that. He T-boned that guy. And the thing is, did he get, yeah, he hooked all the way. Like I thought he just uh, nipped it a little bit. These are some thick hooks. I would say if this jerk baits could be for cold water fishing, it should be like a little thinner. But hey, I'm glad it did stick. And um, here it goes. Gonna show Mike very quick if you can see it. All right. All right, so here he goes, back out in the water. He won't let go. He won't let go, lock jaw. There he goes, all right, bye. All right, let's see what we got here. We gotta land this fish, Jimmy's brushing me. Oh, it's a pickerel. Bro, it's my first pickerel. I think we might, I'm gonna need a him. <laughs> this is my BFS gear right here. We're gonna net this guy. First picker on the yacht. Oh, he's not big. Oh, he got off! Damn it! It doesn't count now. Good, I suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jimbo's winning. Jimbo's winning. Whoop, whoop. Uh. All right, so I'm gonna rig up this rod now with the Jika rig, but I likely won't fish it for now because uh, it seems like the fish are biting and open. Mike just lost a pickerel because uh, he didn't land it, but he did hook one up. So I'm gonna stay in the open water with a rattle trap, but I just want to rig this up just in case because um, there's always gonna be some wood structures on the side and I want to have something at the bottom in case. So um, this kit didn't come with any sort of weights. So I decided to um, you know, just pull one of my drop shot weights here and um, I used the other Daiichi hook and um, I'm using the plastic right now. This is from Biwa. This is their Warax four inch and it is extremely soft it feels good so i'm gonna rig this up and just leave it on side and start rattle trapping in the open for a little bit and see how that goes but um let's just rig this up for a second but yeah jika rig i basically tied a loop knot here and i have the weight at the end and it should swing around very easily and yeah let's just hope we catch some fish all right all right cool let's go Oh no, I got snagged. What the heck is this? This tree. Well, glad we're on a kayak. Let's get, get up closer and uh, hopefully I can untangle it. Uh, what the heck? Who put a tree here? The tree? Yep, it's a tree. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Yes, I got it. All right, I'm clean. 
muck up, but it's terrible. It's terrible. Look at that. All right, I think I need to take this to the, the dam and fish the dam area. I'm still peeling this out, but I gotta peel it softly. But look, there's, there's all these freshwater shrimp-like thing. Just don't like hook myself. But yeah, it takes a while to clean out this mess. But if you don't clean it up, you're not gonna catch fish, especially in the cold waters when they're not as active. They, they kind of like stare at your bait. So make sure you guys clean up very well before I, you throw your lure back in there, especially if you guys are jerk baiting and those lures that suspend and stay still. Make sure it's nice and clean. Yep. Here he goes. There he goes. Hook set. <laughs> fish on fish on oh 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 here we go here we go here we go yes oh you you're on too? No, I'm not on. I said you're on. Yeah, I'm on. Oh no, I snagged him. It counts? Alright, I'm sure you hit it. But look at this. I snagged this guy with the rattle trap on a tail. It was the weirdest fight ever. And uh, let me just get him off first because um, like I said, he snagged. And uh, now he's like tangled up in uh, the net too. Bad idea, Jimbo. But you know what? Uh, better him than me. All right, there he goes. Look at that. A solid 1.7 pounder, maybe? Okay, off he goes. Woo! All right, folks, so I caught a fish on uh, the fluke, the jerkbait rattle trap, and now I'm gonna combo the jig and pig and this Weston ring craw. Let's put it together and see if we catch some fish in some of these um, uh, deeper waters and some structures. Haven't done one of these for a while, jigging, pigging, right? And um, I'm looking at this lure, it looks pretty darn sexy. I got some structure, got some trees over there. So I'm gonna go up there and fish. I'm gonna leave the, the open cove to Mike. I'm sure he'll pull up a few here because this is one of my favorite spots for this season. And uh, I caught one fish here already. And uh, you gotta share the love, man. I gotta share the love. I'm gonna do a little bit more finesse right there. Some Jika rig. <laughs> There's a lot of fish here. Yeah. <laughs> My fish fighter says it's packed with crappies. I mean, you could be bumping them and foul hooking them, partially. Yeah, you know. The last fish was actually a predator fish. But yeah, I, I know I've probably been bumping into some crappie. The last one came up right here. It looked like it looked like a two-man <laughs> Fish on. You on? Come on. Dude, you are on fire, bro. Look at that. It's a bass. Right, Jika rig, baby. Oh, I'm finally on. We jump up as a bass. Oh, yeah. First bass of my yak career. My yak career. All right, let's get ready. Let's be, let's be true yak fishermen and land the fish, guys. We've got to land. <laughs> oh, it's a big one, dude. It's big. It's big? Uh oh, I gotta go over there. My fish is nothing, so I'm gonna just pop this big, guy off and I'm gonna help, help him. Oh, 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 oh. Can you get it? Oh, let's go. Oh, it's not bad. First bass in the kayak. I think my fish is bigger than his, but whatever. <laughs> Jimmy, I hope you don't catch a fish in, the, in give me at least an hour. Hopefully you don't catch one. All right, I'll try. Uh, we're in a good spot right here. I'm gonna keep throwing moving bait and we're gonna try to catch make it to the ground. Yeah, you're definitely, I think you're gonna catch one on that though. <laughs> but you know, it's, that is a impressive, very impressive performance so far. Well, thank you. <laughs> so slimy, man. I know, I bet. Let's go, baby. Here, let me get a close up right here. I'm gonna do a drive by snap. Hey, appreciate it, dude. There you go. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> ah! ah! 
That was a nice hit. Nice hit. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, so my bread and butter Jika rig is probably gonna be better than a jig because I can control the weight and um, yeah, swap off weights. I can make it heavier, I can make it lighter. And I think that jig is just falling too quick, hitting the bottom and it just keep pulling in those gunk. I had a few bites and um, you know, like I said before, I'd rather catch one fish with one lure than not catch a fish with two lures, right? So let's get going with this. We'll hit some spots in the back lake area and then we'll go back out and deep where I saw a lot of fish in the fish finder. Right now, back here is pretty darn empty, but uh, you never know. Could be a pickerel because they love the back shallows. Mm, oh, look at that. We got some fish out there. Some sort of thing right over here. It looks interesting. Look at that. With some open water crappies to the right of me. Look at that. These are all fish right here. It'll be nice to catch a crappy. We haven't seen a crappy yet, right? But yeah, man, size structure scan. It's impressive. Some impressive stuff. Oh yeah, I got something hooked on. I got something hooked on. I was just freaking just trolling and I was freaking um, texting and all of a sudden something hit my, uh, oh, look like freaking pickerel. Pickerel, 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 pick, 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 pick. Oh man, out of nowhere, out of nowhere. Oh yeah. Oh, out of nowhere. Dude, dude, I just had it right outside a kayak and um, yeah, wasn't recording, playing around with the phone and all of a sudden, boom, headshot. We got a pickerel, a Mondo pickerel. Ah, look at that. Yeah, there it is. This is a giant. I can even feel, like my thumb is right here, right by the gills, and I can feel his freaking veins pumping. He's pumping blood. His adrenaline is high. I'm high. Mike is high. Oh man, this is called a fish high. Oh my gosh. Woot woot. Probably the biggest fish of the day for this little challenge. So uh, let me grab a quick photo. All right guys, biggest fish during this challenge right here. Oh man, it's a freaking Mondo. Woo! All right, this is it. I have a feeling this, this area right here. That's a fish right there. Whoa. Got a bass. Woo -woo. All right, all right. On the Biwa, Jika rig, let's go, let's go. Gotta tell Mike to bust out the Jika rig because Mike was the one who introduced me to the Jika rig. If you guys didn't know that. Oh no. You see that thing? Yeah. What the heck? It just stuck his head up. Bro, I'm catching that thing. <laughs> this will be my first one. Oh yeah, he's mine. The netting. It's game over for this fish. It's game over now that I got a kayak. Perfect intersection. Boom, baby. Wait, it's a bass. What the heck? What? It's a freaking bass. Oh no. <laughs> Let's see what happened. Show it to you if you want to take a look. Oh, I'll take a look. Yo, check this bass out, guys. It's got a giant infection, infectious sore on the back right here. Oh, uh, infection. I got some infection on my uh, mouth right there. Oh, dang. Look at this, all kinds of diseases. Eee. He probably got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's making it. I throw it over the dam. Throw it over the dam? Yeah. You think that's the best story? Dude, if he dies here, the bacteria, fungus, whatever spreads, right? Th throw him over. All right, we're taking him to the dam. Entering the dam region. Danger. Danger. It, it's gonna die anyway. Uh, you know what, honestly, I think we gave that fish a swifter, less painful death than it would have had. Cause you saw it struggling. 
pretty much. I wonder if the viewers are going to hear that thud. That's pretty loud. <laughs> <sighs> Apparently I was not recording, but uh, I landed probably my biggest bass of the day with the Jeeker egg. Let me show you guys very quick because I am pretty much out of batteries for this session. All right, here we go. Jeeker egg, okay. With the Biwa, let's go. Woo, guys, mystery tackle box challenge. I feel like I completed the challenge with flying colors. Well, actually, um, I didn't catch anything with that one jig, the skirted jig, but to me, a skirted jig is like a tool, right? You don't necessarily need to use every tool to help you catch the fish. Uh, I caught everything else with uh, all the soft plastics and hard plastic, so I feel like I did pretty well. You know, regardless, I still beat Mike, <laughs> uh, but uh, we gotta give kudos to Mike because uh, he drove one and a half hours to fish with me, then he drove one, ha one and a half hours back, and then he edited both freaking videos, all right? And he also <laughs> did a plug with Manscaped. <laughs> but hilarious, his father's hilarious too. If you guys haven't watched his videos, uh, for the two videos that he just dropped, check out the link in the description below. But uh, I whooped your butt, Mike, <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, I remember last time he whooped my butt uh, fishing for top water and uh, I got to put that cicada in my mouth. <laughs> Anyhow guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I want to wish you guys a happy ho holidays as well as happy new year. What are your new year's resolution? You guys gonna go catch more fish, catch any specific fish, break any PBs? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, for me, I am gonna fish more finesse but not at the BFS level. I want to go one step up so probably like more medium lights and mediums so i'll be looking for some rods and reels and uh, i might be looking for a new kayak as i kind of hinted earlier in the video so anyway guys um the fish don't wait set your resolutions set the goals and get out there for 2022